So I decided to recreate 10 photographs from throughout the 20th century that I felt represented the evolution and continued struggles in America today in relation to immigration, gender equality, civil rights, LGBTQ plus community, and environmental consciousness. And the reason I decided to do this was because my greatest passions in life are arts and social justice. So I figured, why not bring the two together and create something really cool to bring voice to people who have been discriminated against for years, and also use that with art who, in a way to like bring people in. Um, and then I also feel like it's a hard time in our country and in our world as a whole right now. So this is the perfect time to bring light to some of these issues. So, since semester one, um, my mentor started with Elizabeth Kerrigan, who was my original photographer and who took two of my photos, but things got a little complicated. So I ended up switching over to Logan Hayes, who worked on all the rest of the pictures with me. And so my time first semester was primarily spent finding the original photos I wanted to recreate, getting the copyright for those so that I could actually have them in a gallery, um, selecting the models and locations for the shoots, getting all their information so that I could contact them, contact my photographer, get um, posters made so that I could like do this whole thing, which is actually at my grade school, St. Francis of Assisi, and this was one of our photo shoots last semester. And then I had to secure a time, date, and location for my gallery for the second semester, which was this past, this past Thursday. And then I finished with five photos at the end of last semester. And so, one of my biggest struggles, or one of the biggest things I learned, was that it's very hard contacting so many people and trying to work with all these schedules. And I think a lot of the other SIP girls would kind of agree that like working on your SIP project is like running your own small business. So this was my contact list from the very beginning of the school year, and this was only like three months after, and this is like pages and pages and pages at this point of just like people. Um, so SIP semester two, this is me and my photographer Logan at my gallery. Um, so I finished taking and editing all my pictures. I contacted a printing company called Ernie's Print Shop, which I was connected to by Miss Needham, who actually works here at Price. Um, so I got all my photos professionally printed, and the explanations were written, written for all the pictures, new and old. And then I got a DJ, who was my uncle, and I got all the refreshments for my event. And then I had to set up my gallery the day of ring ceremony, and then the next day I had my gallery showing. And so here's me at my art exhibit, here's me giving my remarks. So this past Thursday, April 25th, from 6 to 9 o'clock, I held an event at Revelry Boutique on, in Nulu on East Market Street. Um, so it lasted from 6 to 9, and I gave remarks at 7 o'clock. And there was a great turnout, there was a lot of people coming in and out all night, it was really crowded, and it's one of, personally, the coolest things I've ever done, and it's one of the biggest things I'm proud of, and it was awesome. Um, and so the photos are actually going to be here for a whole week, so they're here till this Thursday. If you didn't get to make it, you can go and stop by and check them out. And then here's the poster. I hung these all up in the Highlands and Frankfurt Avenue. They're all over Prez. There's one over there. And so this just kind of gave people the information they needed so that they could actually show up and see what I created. And so here's my photo collection. I'll just kind of skip through it a little bit, but I'll give a little tidbit on each one. And the photos with the little star at the top are my personal favorites, because in my gallery showing, I was asked a lot of times which ones were my favorites. <clears throat> so here are the positives, which is kind of the evolution, how we've gotten better in all these issues. And so here's immigration, and this is a photo of an Italian family migrating to the United States in the early 1900s. And it's recreated with the family at the La Casita Center, who I was connected to from a girl presentation. My LGBTQ plus positive image. This was a photo from like a book of images where this man went and collected all these photos from old yard sales and stuff that had been hidden away and like forgotten for years because they couldn't show their affection or love for one another at that given time. And so I recreated it to kind of establish the fact that, okay, well now they're out on the corner of Barstown Road and Eastern Parkway showcasing the fact that they are together and they're both women and that is completely okay. And then gender equality, this is one of my personal favorites, and it's actually being hung up in press sometime soon when I take the pictures down. And there's a bunch of girls who are in SIP and who are actually in this room right now who are in the photo. Um, and yeah, this was a really fun picture to take, so I love it. Civil rights, another girl in here, Alexis Kamek, is in the front right here. And this was the actual Black Panther movement. It was a still photo taken from a documentary in the 60s. And the recreated one is supposed to represent like, the Black Lives Matter movement happening today and the progression of that whole thing. 
Um, and then environmental consciousness is the positive of it. This is the actual very first Earth Day celebration at Oak University called EcoU. And then I recreated it today just kind of to show that we're still trying to like hold up our planet and make it healthy, make it strong, all of this. And then we're going into the negatives. So this is the immigration photo. Jack's keep moving. This was early 1900s in a time of xenophobia, especially directed towards Japanese people. And then today, build a wall, make America great again, giving reference to our current president. Um, and then the LGBTQ plus negative. This was a photograph from the Stonewall movement, or the Stonewall riots. And then I recreated it today just to show the continued struggle for people in that community against people in the political arena, economically, socially, all the things. And then gender equality. Here's the Lincoln Davis, who's right here. <laughs> And just to show that women are still struggling, and an actual like a little thing I forgot. I actually wrote explanations that were each about a page long for each one of these photos that goes into depth over the actual knowledge of where the original photo was taken, who's in the new photo, where it's taken at, and kind of all this information, these statistics, these facts about where these all came from, and how it's actually what I'm saying is actually true. And then civil rights. This is my boyfriend Darius. <laughs> um, so basically, just the continued struggle of police police brutality, and then in my descriptions, I tried to give like a voice to the fact that there's still a lot of issues for black people in America in a lot of different ways, so economically, socially, all that. And then environmentally, environmental awareness. One more time, this is another one of my favorites, and this was the one that I showed you on the previous slide, we kind of directing all the kids around. So this was at my grade school, and it's basically just asking that even though we're still trying to help the environment, we're not doing a very great job. So. We need to do better. And so thank you for being a part of this experience with me. I'm very proud of all of this. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to create it.